Welcome in, everybody. It's time for the United Bank Playbook. Tony Caridi along with Mountaineer head coach Neil Brown, West Virginia, with a bye week. So here's the question for you. Saturday's win over Baylor, you called it a program win. So plan moving forward. What's your next step now? How do you keep them going that way? Well, program win because of what Baylor's been able to do over the last two years. A lot of respect for that program that Matt Rule uh, really turned around and what Coach Aranda, the staff that he's hired, what they've continued to do. That is a program that played in the Sugar Bowl, played in the Big 12 Championship, won 11 games, was ranked in the top five for most of the year last year. Um, and more importantly, they're just a tough physical team that doesn't beat themselves. And for us to kind of just gut it out and, and show the grit that we have and be able to win a game where we didn't play very well on offense, um, but find the wherewithal defensively and on special teams to really finish that out, I think it speaks well to the direction we're going. Now, we've got to continue to build on that. And it's only a program win if we can follow that up with a great bye week and then we get into Kansas, Texas Tech, and, and continue to climb and get better in all three phases. So what is your message to your coaches and your players this week as to what you want to make sure to do so this is not a wasted week? Well, to me, it's, all right, I think you, you really have to talk to them about why did we have success on defense and on our coverage units on, on Saturday versus Baylor. And it was because of the effort, the physicality that we, that we played with. And we've got to be able to repeat that each and every Saturday within our league. And then you've got to say, okay, offensively, what did we do well? Because there's some things that we did well. You know, we were able to, the opening drive, 15 plus plays, go down and score. You look at what we did in overtime, how we ran the football. Okay, so there's some things that you can take away from that game offensively and said, hey, these are building blocks. But you also examined, okay, what didn't go well? All right, well, offensively, we had penalties. Um, we didn't do a very good job in protection at some places. Uh, we didn't do a very good job of, of doing little detail things that extend drives. So we got to get better at those things. But to me, this week, especially the front of it, is about us getting better, and then we'll work Kansas toward the end of the week. One last question here for you on penalties. How do you try to get those down to a reasonable number? Well, I think if you look at it, it's the procedure penalties that you got to get you got to get rid of. It's the pre-snap penalties that really hurt you, especially offensively. You know, and then. It's a little misleading number. A couple of those penalties were delayed games that we took, try to set up um, a little bit longer punt opportunities. But the aggressive penalties, the ones that maybe it's a, a, a pass interference or maybe it's a holding penalty, you just continue to work on those, but you can deal with those. It's the selfish and then the pre-snap penalties we got to eliminate. That, those are the ones that get you beat. Coach, appreciate the time. Yeah, thanks.